Uh, well, I had a little bit of time after work today, so I came out over and put up, I know it'll show up on the camera, some netting, okay? This one I have to string up, but that's not bad. So I strung it up, had to put this uh, piece over the door frame, over the uh, doorway, so I could tack this, the netting onto it. Uh, the only thing that's preventing me from letting these girls out and this boy into this bigger area is I got to get this area here secured where the new broody house is. So, and I just don't have time to deal with that tonight. So, unfortunately, they have to stay penned up until I can get to it. But they're good. They got plenty of food and water, and they get scratch grains when everybody else does. So, they're doing good. They're doing good. Unfortunately, I still don't have a broody. That girl could go broody, then these two girls are known broodies. So I'm leaving their eggs. I should be marking their Let eggs. Let the girls so. out for a little bit and they're enjoying some fresh greens. Yum. Okay, I got a little bit extra time. I gotta see if I can't get this finished so I can let these birds out of that little pen. Yep, uh, time to get to work. Okay, well, I got it enclosed all the way up. Hopefully nothing can get out. Let's find out. Okay. Let's release the chickens. Yes, I said release the chickens. Remove peaches out of the pen with silver. I stuck her in here because I want her to breed with this rooster. She did not go broody. Neither has silver yet, so I'm going to release silver. Let her mingle with the uh, gold rooster because she won't disappear on me. Hopefully I've got this netted up enough so that these birds will stay inside this pen. Well, they look happy to be out anyway. I gotta uh, 
set their feeder up inside the little playhouse. I keep their feet in there and I stick their water out somewhere. The water doesn't ma doesn't matter where I stick that because I don't have to keep that dry. So but let me go and get these girls set up. Peaches is looking. Peaches is looking for a way to get out. Those girls can't get to you, my boy. I gotta throw some scratch in here so this boy looks like he's a good provider. Yeah, he's a big man now. Yeah, good. he's a good boy. He's calling the girls over. Now I just leave him be. I'm going to take a couple of the uh, fake eggs that are in the uh, the old last year's uh, broody pen. I'm going to put two of them in the uh, the new one just so they get the idea. I'm sure they're going to be exploring. Matter of fact, when I was letting the other group in here, the gold rooster, what are we calling him? Rodney? I don't know. Anyways, he uh, he was calling the girls into the the new uh, little house I built, showing them and cooing to them and showing them how nice a place it is. So hopefully this guy will do the same thing. And who knows, maybe we'll get somebody actually laying in there. And eventually, one of these two girls over here will go, will go broody. Either Peaches or Little Mama. Little Mama tends to go later in the season, though. So, let's see what happens. I'm hoping I can get a couple of uh, Ashley's checks because uh, I don't like being down to just the three broodies, especially since this one girl here is getting pretty old so alrighty well I think that's it for today folks come on girls come on come on come on girls come on girls come on come on come on Hi, sweetheart. I don't got nothing. Hi, Belle. A little bit more, guys, and that's it. Already? Look who came to say hi. Hi, honey. 
Hi, Belle. She's looking for a handout. That's what she's looking for. That duck is pretty upset with me. That I went and chased him out where the food is. There's food out there for him. He just wanted my food. Or my chicken's food. He's upset. Yes, he is. Oh, well, he's just going to have to get over it.